So we'll just finish off this part. We were talking about Nikkei 2225 average. That is the market index for uh, the Tokyo Stock Exchange. Now I've talked about uh, a lot of the things have changed in the recent past. There are four really big developments that have happened uh, in the recent 15, 20 years. The number one being uh, the fact that the globalization of securities markets uh, have taken place. So in the past, people could only buy and sell depending on the, in the country that they were in, usually looking at the timing of the stock markets is really from 9.30 to 4 kind of thing. So if you were in Toronto, you would really invest uh, during those times, buy and sell. But because of the internet, because of the globalization of stock markets, uh, one stock market closes, another one opens. Um, so you can actually buy and sell in the entire world using whatever resources you have. Um, you don't have to be limited to the time frame of your country. Uh, the second real market development has been the growth of institutional trading. So a lot of mutual funds, we talked about mutual funds in the past. Mutual funds have increased in value and size. So a lot of mutual funds would then invest, buy and sell uh, using the stock markets. And a lot of pension funds. So pension funds have increased in values and in sizes compared to, uh, similar to the mutual funds. The last two things have also changed the markets. Um, increase in advisor education. So to become a broker, you required, are required to take lots of courses, pass exams, and get licenses from various uh, organizations. Um, in the past, it was not this um, hectic or long to, to become a broker or advisor. Now it takes a lot of effort. Uh, and the last thing is that investors have become very sophisticated. So investors in the, in now have, um, um, uh, have increased their knowledge by taking lots of courses um, in, in finance, in, in markets, and, 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 and financial securities, and financial investments, and so on. Um, so they are more aware, not through just courses, but also through media, um, and through the, the, the advent of the internet. So um, this course is itself is a prime example of uh, a sophisticated investor education um, because if you think about it, at this high school level, this kind of course was not avail available um, even 10 years ago. So um, you know we have come a long uh, way from that. So these are the recent market developments uh, that I wanted to highlight and uh, hopefully uh, you can uh, look at the videos maybe once again and see the differences between the first, second, third, and fourth markets and have a better understanding of the, these markets. Thank you.